Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part eight of our series of videos on power of reporting of Tally Prime. And this is the second part of our video on the feature of GoTo. So in the last session, we basically understood how easy and simple it is for the business owners or any person who is not regularly using Tally to quickly navigate through this wonderful feature of GoTo and access any information that they are looking for. So in this video, we will see two more very interesting activities that you can do with the GoTo, that is the delight of accountant. In the last session, we saw the delight of the business owner. We will see how GoTo is going to help the accountant to quickly complete any kind of multitasking that they need to perform. And also, we will see the difference between go to and switch to. So let us go to Tally and explore this wonderful feature of go to. In this video, we will see more features or techniques that we can use for go to feature like i had mentioned the go to feature is a delight for accountant so we will now walk through the use case of an accountant on a daily basis what are the kind of activity he does so he makes an entry and then you know he goes to the reports provides information for various people whatever report that they are looking for since he is using tally on a regular basis and more or less you can say that he is an expert on tally and he can quickly navigate and get any kind of work done under this scenario we will now see how the go to feature will help the accountant to continue with the work without being interrupted or without being redoing anything that he is already doing so let's walk through a simple example let us say that he is now passing a sales transaction go to sales voucher and the party let us say he is going to now create a new party so we have this option called create and the keyboard shortcut to create is either you click here on create or you can just press alt c it will take you to ledger master creation let us say he creates a new customer now let's say in a hurry or by mistake instead of putting new customer under sundry debtors let us say he is wrongly for some reason gone and put as sales account since he is going to sell this to this party by mistake let us say he has taken sales account or maybe the data entry operator would have created this customer account wrongly now if you see the new account just now we created is not getting reflected here why because tally will have a control over these things so that it ensures that the user is not going to commit the fundamental error so when you're making a sale ideally the sale could happen through cash, bank, or you will be selling to a sundry debtor normally. And there is no rule that you can't sell to your sundry creditor. So Tally will open up only those ledgers which the user is created. If you see here, the user is created under cash group, bank group, and all the ledgers under sundry debtors and sundry creditors. So now this new customer we have created is wrongly been grouped. So the normal tendency is that you have to press escape, go to gateway of tally and then select alter, select ledger, select the party and regroup it. Because here you will not get it since it is wrongly grouped. So how do we do that? Now this is where the go to option is going to be very handy. So all you have to do is just press alt G and now on top here you have an option which says alter master so straight away go to alter master select ledger and select the ledger which is new customer and we come back and then we change the grouping here and press ctrl a and the moment you press escape you will now see the new customer ledger is getting listed here because ledger is grouped under sundry debtors so we select new customer sales ledger and the item we will say you are building couple of items so let me quickly capture those items let us say you have captured so many items and you have to select couple of more items and in the meantime let us say 
your boss comes and then he says hey look can you give me the outstanding statement of a particular party so he says give me outstanding statement of amar enterprises now in the earlier releases of tally idd what you would do which is in erp release of tally ideally if you press escape and go back to the report you will basically lose this information that you have captured and you have to redo this so this way if somebody is going to keep asking information multiple times when you are here you have to keep going back and forth now you don't have to do this you can actually put this voucher on hold and this is what is the delight of accountant i was talking about so you can put this voucher on hold so just go and give the information what your boss is asking for that is the outstanding ledger of amar enterprises so you can just hold this invoice click on go to what is that you want you want ledger outstanding so just type ledger outstanding select amar and the ledger outstanding of amar is there now he says can you give me a print out of this outstanding so that we can send it as a reminder letter to the party so no problem all you have to do is just press control p and here by default you will have ledger outstanding we can change this to reminder letter so how do we change this click on configure the cursor is here in ledger outstanding just press enter and you have this option called reminder letter just come down to reminder letter enter and just escape and when you go to preview we will get the reminder letter information so you can just print it you can export it and then give it to him so once you have done this and as you are coming back again let us say your boss says hey can you go to the uh, bank account and then see what is the balance so now you have to go to the bank account so no problem all you have to do is just press alt g and just type cash and bank account select bank account select whichever bank that you have to look into enter and then you go into the transaction now let's say he says can you go to the profit and loss account no problem just say alt g and say profit and loss account enter and then you go into the profit and loss account now we have put our sales invoice on hold let us say a creditor walks in and then you have to make a payment so now your boss says Uh, do one thing just make a payment uh, voucher for this person take a print out of the payment voucher and then take his signature as an acknowledgement of amount received so we already put one voucher on hold with the help of go to feature you really don't have to worry so which means when you when one voucher is kept on hold you can also make a new voucher how do we do that click on go to now come here and click on create voucher change it to fi and then you can make the payment to the party select the party sumer enterprises and you are making a payment of 10000 rupees through bank so you select your hdfc bank say this and you can take a print out so you can just say control p and you can preview here and you get this print out and a receiver signature can be taken here so now let's say you have saved this voucher control a now you want to go back to your sales voucher where you have stopped very simple all you have to do is just click on go to and we saw in our last video you can click on show open report and when you press enter it is going to show you all the traversing path which we saw in our previous video so one voucher we have already created payment voucher then we navigated to this various report the starting point is accounting voucher sales when you select here tally will take you to wherever you have stopped and this is going to save lot of time for a person especially when you are trying to do invoicing uh, where there are lot of items and uh, you know you can literally put one voucher on hold create another voucher or move from one report to another report you can print a report export a report all that you can do and the entire traversing path will be retained by tally and you can quickly switch over to your task whichever task you want to go automatically now the next thing that we will have to understand here if you see let me come to gateway of tally i am not saving this voucher so if you come to gateway of tally you have this go to so go to is alt g and now when you hold control you see this changes into switch to i am just leaving control by default it is always go to and when i hold the control key this becomes switch to so in the go to what we saw is that when we go into the go to report if you have opened any report or any activity that you have traversed through you have this option here which says show open report 
so by selecting that we just now saw that you would be able to go to whichever area that you want to go now with the help of switch to basically switch to is to literally you are switching from one report to another report which means the traversing path that you take to access various information or activity in tally it will not keep track of it when you are accessing any report or when you are passing any entry using the switch to mode so basically you are saying switch from task 1 to task 2 3 4 and so on let us now try this out with couple of walkthrough example so now let's say we are in balance sheet and you want to go to now outstanding ledger so instead of alt g we are going to say control g you will see the moment i hold control it becomes switch to control g where is that i want to switch to now i want to go to outstanding ledger outstanding and let us say I want to go to Amar Enterprises. So I have now gone to Amar Enterprises ledger. Now from here I want to move to cash and bank book. So I say control G and I want to go to cash and bank book enter so from here let us say i want to go into a sales voucher entry so again i'm going to say control g and you go into create voucher you are in the create voucher let's say for some reason you want to go to trial balance you're going to say control g trial balance and we have now switched from one report to another report so the current report that we are in is the trial balance so we traverse through from balance sheet we moved into various steps now when you click on switch to again control g and when you see show open report tally is going to show you only the last report or the current report that you have switched to but the advantage of this is that if if you have navigated using go to it is going to keep track of it and if you press escape tally will go one step backwards for each of the screen that you have acquired but in this case since you are switching from one screen to another screen where did we start we started with gateway of tally now just observe when i press escape immediately we will come to gateway of tally so this is the difference between go to and switch to based on your requirement you can decide whether you want to use this feature as go to to keep track of your traversing path or do you want to switch from one task to another task i hope this video would have given you a clear understanding of how critical and important or useful is this technique and especially for a person who is regularly using tally and who needs to do a multitasking at the same time. And also we understood the difference between go to and switch to. In the next session, we will further continue with the go to features and understand the structure of the menu that the go to offers so that you know we can quickly access any information that we are looking for so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much